What are you all staring at? Hmm? What, me? <laughs> Have you never seen a talking monkey before? No? Well, allow me to introduce myself. I am Sun Wakong, the Monkey King. Yes, of course you can afford. You have heard of me. Yes. Okay. My story is an ancient one. One that goes back many, many years. A story of redemption okay. and enlightenment of hope and goodwill so come with me my friends as i share my tale with you this holiday season it all began long long ago it was a windy night and there was magic in the air. The powerful wind blew over the land and past the trees, blowing upward toward the midnight sky. And then, on a mountain top, left by the wind on its nocturnal journey, appeared a special rock. The rock from which I was born. Yes, this is all true. Raised by a great and powerful teacher, I was taught the magic of life. Oh, yes, I could change my shape at will and fly through the air. One day, in my homeland, a most terrible monster came to attack the monkeys. Well, we battled day and night until finally I defeated the evil creature yes I did that's when I became the monkey king oh and this it is my magic stick which I uh, acquired <laughs> on one of my adventures there I was at the bottom of the eastern sea when I met the very powerful Dragon King. He was showing me his kingdom when we came across this magical weapon. A powerful weapon that would enable me to become master of the four quarters. I asked the Dragon King to give it to me. Me, mine, please, me. But he refused. The magical stick in which you inquire belongs beneath the sea, he said. Let no one disturb the underwater kingdom of the Dragon King. Who wanted to disturb the underwater kingdom? I just wanted one teensy-weensy little magic stick. So, when no one was looking, I ripped it from the ocean floor. All of a sudden, something began to happen. The ocean floor started to rumble, and the mighty underwater kingdom began to collapse. I grabbed the stick and narrowly escaped to the surface. <laughs> I had the stick, and the power was mine. With my magic stick, I, I could do anything. I was always looking for adventure. My power grows stronger every day. Nothing could stop the Monkey King. Or so I thought. You see, there was this little matter of Buddha. The abuse of my power did not please him very much. Oh, no. So, as a punishment, he sealed me inside a magic mountain for all eternity. Let me out! I would scream. But to no avail. You see, I had become selfish and lost everything it was at this point that a wise monk named Fang Sang stepped into the picture 
that he was organizing his great pilgrimage to India, a journey to bring the true text of Buddha's teachings back to the emperor of China. Now he knew of my heroic reputation and went to Buddha to arrange my release. You see, Thang Sang was willing to give me a second chance that I may accompany him on this most important journey. Oh, and this crown, that is a little insurance courtesy of Buddha. See, if ever I had an impure thought during our journey, the crown would contract on my head, causing me much discomfort. Yes, I, of course now it's just for looks. So I dare not demonstrate its abilities. <laughs> At any rate, I obeyed my new master and protected him from the many perils we had to undergo during our journey. Now this next part of my story, I will need all of your help. Will you play the part of the Heavenly Committee of Welcome? Which means that when I say in my story, Heavenly Committee of Welcome, you will cheer for me as loud as you can. Yes? Yes, good. So, when Thang Sang and I finally returned, you don't have to cheer. Finally returned, with the teachings in hand, we were greeted with great honors from the Heavenly Committee of Welcome. That's as loud as you can. Heavenly Committee of Welcome! I knew you had that in you. Okay, now let me tell you what I learned. Through the entire adventure, I began to realize the purpose of my journey. The struggle for power. Got the Monkey King in nothing but, ow, trouble. But helping others in their search for enlightenment. That is the power that would bring me to redemption. And that is my story, my friends, a story of growth, a story of knowledge, a story of change, and a story of redemption that brings me here tonight. Many, many different cultures around the world bring many different customs and traditions to the holiday season. Traditions based in love and traditions based in enlightenment. So take the message of hope and goodwill towards others with you and keep it with you throughout the new year. From me, the Monkey King, and from all my Chinese ancestors past and present, I wish you a wonderful holiday season and a very happy new year! If you would like a picture with the Monkey King, come and see Kelly, she's right here. She will